Today, the Supreme Court released the remaining six convicts in the Rajiv Gandhi assassination case, extending to them the benefit of its order releasing their co-convict A.G. Pirari Valan. A bench of Justices B.R. Gawai and B. Vinagaratna ordered that the appealants are directed to be set at liberty if not required in any other matter. Those who have been allowed premature release are Nalini Sriharan, Santhan, alias Raviraj, Murugan, Robert Payas, Jayakumar and Ravichandran, alias Ravi. Today, the court said that the same order would apply to all the six other convicts in the assassination of the former Prime Minister as well. The apex court said that the convicts had spent over three decades in jail, during which period their conduct was satisfactory and they had enrolled in various courses. In 2018, the then AIADMK government in Tamil Nadu recommended all the seven convicts for premature release, but the decision was kept pending. In February of last year, the centre told the court that the governor had considered all the facts on record and, after perusal of the relevant documents, recorded that the Honourable President of India is the appropriate competent authority to deal with the request for remittance. While deciding Pirari Valan's case, the court disapproved of the governor sending the state cabinet's recommendation to the president. The apex court refused to accept the centre's argument as laid down by the court in a 2014 decision that is Union of India versus Sri Haran, the appropriate government to decide on the remission of a sentence in matters to which the executive power of the union extends is the union government. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.